You dig deep, Barry. You know, they're crowing that it's ecologically uh, friendly and it's uh, pure as the driven snow. Yeah. But I'm, I'm on the phone here. Thank you. Yeah. There has to be something involved that doesn't doesn't live up to their advertising. What? Oh, oh so tight. Yeah. Uh, doesn't it make sense to you that if a man is on the phone, you don't turn on the vacuum cleaner? What? You so tight. Jeez. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I just walked over here and started sneezing. Well, maybe it's the dust from all that racket you're making. No. I walk in here every day and start vacuuming, and I don't have a problem. For God's sakes, woman, why don't you go find an allergy pill or something? I don't understand. The only thing I've ever been allergic to is... You're wearing new aftershave? Yes, my daughter bought it for me for Father's Day. That's it. I'm allergic to you. I'm going to finish up in here when you're gone. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's, that's it. You are allergic to my aftershave. Yeah. I once went out with this guy who wore this stuff that made me break out in all sorts of nasty hives. Yeah, that's, and that's, they got that's, all that's, oozy that's it, that's and... It, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you are... <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> You're not going to start sneezing again, are you? I took an antihistamine. Good. So, since uh, I seem to have helped you with some brilliant idea, whatever the heck it is, I thought maybe you can give me the night off. Oh, really? You have a hot date or something? Yes, I do, actually. With whom? I, I don't think that's any of your business. Now, have you ever heard of corporate espionage? Yeah, spying. Yes, well, I'm in a position where, unfortunately, I have to keep a close eye on all of my employees. Even if, unwittingly, they become involved with somebody who wants to know more about them. You work in here. And you hear all sorts of things that my competition would love to hear. So I don't think it's too much for me to know with whom you're spending time. Especially since you're supposed to be working here tonight. Well, you don't have to worry. It's Jackson Montgomery. You have a date with Montgomery? You, you mean a uh, romantic date or an uh, attorney-client's date? Romantic? Why are you so surprised? We like each other. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you and uh, Erica's ex. <laughs> So you, uh, you and Greeley got any plans for honeymoon, really? Well, Greeley, you know, I have a couple of possible trips planned, but nothing concrete. You know, we just got married, so I just want to concentrate on each other at the moment. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Besides, I don't know what I'm going to do career-wise. New wife, new life. Tad just left the PI business, left it to me. I don't know uh, if I'm going to carry on with it or I should start something new. What is, uh, what is Greenwood really kick? You know, she, um, she and I haven't really spoken about it yet. Yeah. But I reckon she's, she'll be cool with whatever happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. When Greenwood believes in something or someone, she pours her heart into it like nobody I've ever met. I... What time are you meeting Jackson? Eight, at the Yacht Club. Why? Well, I want you to have a specially wonderful time tonight. So you take this. Go buy yourself a new dress, some shoes, a purse. Whatever you want. Knock yourself out. Why are you doing this? Because if you hadn't had that sneezing attack a while ago, I wouldn't have had the brilliant idea that I had. <laughs> so, consider this just a, um, well, a reward for a job well done. Now, if you're going to go shopping, you better be on your way. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Mr. C. Mm hmm Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. 
What do you want? I want to help you. 